My partner and I, Lee Allen, we're working with mosquitoes in foggy conditions, and we're trying to see what mechanism is causing them to fall out of the air in really high humidity and fog, as opposed to high humidity and no fog. Right now we're using a household humidifier and we're inputting the humidity into a, into a just column. It's about an 18 inch column. And we're kind of testing the falling distance. Um, the falling distance as being where they catch themselves. At what height do they catch themselves and they're able to fly away? Or if they can't, the falling distance would be 16 inches and that's all the way to the bottom. Right now we're finding that at really high fog, when you can see the particles in the column, they're not able to fly and they just fall all the way down. Whereas about four minutes after we input the humidity, the drops evaporate and fall out, and so they're able to catch themselves in about four to five inches. We don't have too much more to do. We want to get a few more data points just to kind of make our graphs look a little more progressive. We're trying to find more calculations on finding out the accurate drop size. Right now we have an estimate of about 10 microns for a drop, um, but we, we think that in the container, they, they're kind of co coalescing together and becoming bigger. So we're trying to find a way to find out the average size of the particle that's happening during our experiment. I, I really enjoy it more than I thought I would, just because it's working with insects, and insects are kind of bite you, and so it's not a lot of fun. But I'm actually, it is very enjoyable, just kind of finding out these different things.